Children are injured after a fire broke out on Bond Street in Bluffton yesterday afternoon. They were rescued thanks to some good Samaritans. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tara Brantley. And I'm Dirk Rowley. When crews arrived on the scene, fire was coming from the one side of the house, but witnesses had already started helping. Wayne 15's Rachel Russell has tonight's top story. Dirk and Tara, the children were at their grandparents' house who were in their bedroom at the time of the fire. As people gathered around the house waiting for fire crews to arrive, some started into action on their own. Well, we knew there was a fire because when we were coming down the road, you could see the smoke. The two kids were in another room and had just been put down for a nap. When the fire started, they were trapped inside. Driving down the street, Josh and Seth saw the fire. They couldn't stop fast enough before they were trying to get the kids out. You know, I got about a foot from him and I got knocked off my feet. It was, a, it was so hot. I didn't have a shirt on or nothing. I took my shirt off and put it over my face. With no firefighting experience, Josh said he wasn't thinking when he sprung into action. Help them. That's all I could think about was to get them kids out of there because I'm a, I'm a father. I got kids about the same age as the little ones that was in the house. Before crews arrived, an off-duty firefighter was on the scene to help as well. Here you see him carrying out one of the children. It's second nature for uh, to us, you know, to, to go in a fire. Obviously, going in without into a fire without our personal protective items is scary. Uh, so for him to be able to do that uh, is just amazing. The two civilians could direct the crews to where the kids were when they arrived. We're not heroes. We're just passerbys that just happen to be in the right place at the right time. The real heroes are the ones that do it every day. The two children were taken to Riley Children's Hospital to be treated for smoke inhalation and thermal burns. The cause of the fire remains under investigation. In Studio 15, Rachel Russell, Wayne 15 News. An incredible story. Thanks, Rachel.